Good afternoon and thanks for joining us. Holy Shields here for Calkine TV, welcoming you all to another edition of Executive Corner Expert Talks. The show where we bring you industry leaders, successful business owners and market experts all under one roof to help you discover the latest economic insights. On today's show, we're joined by Tony Simmons, CEO of Sonnet, the con content discovery platform for spoken words that uses AI technology. Welcome to the show, Tony. It's a pleasure to have you with us. Hi, Holly. Thanks for having me. Great to have you on. So to kick things off, we at Calkine truly believe that discovery is one of the most crucial aspects of content. To what extent would you say that AI is beneficial in content discovery? Yeah, well, I mean, there's so much content out there. Just these stats give you a sense, you know, there's 70 million tracks on Spotify, 30 million podcast episodes, 4.8 billion hours of content on YouTube, uh, 250 billion posts on Facebook and Instagram. So how do you get discovered in amongst all of this? If you do it by hand, there's so much time and effort that it will take. So by using AI and machine learning, you can automate that so that your uh, spoken word content can be turned into text, could be crawled by Google. Um, using SEO, you can be found. You can personalize content recommendations. Here's something else you might like. So, um, you know, really using machines helps uh, surface the content that people want to find. It helps you find the audience who are interested in that content as well. Um, so if there's a story about turtles and you're interested in turtles, you want to be able to type that into your browser and find it. And uh, at the moment, when people speak about it, it's locked up in a little file and it can't be found. So AI really helps that all happen. Right, it sounds like it helps someone narrow down the type of content they want to see in this sea of billions, like you mentioned, billions of hours of content that's out there. Absolutely, yeah. And how do you incorporate spoken API integration and machine learning to improve the distribution, reach and monetization of a business's content? Yeah, so I think, you know, in terms of monetization and, uh, you know, reach of content, um, if you've got a, a radio show or a podcast where you're uh, talking about green energy or solar energy, uh, there's no point in advertising, um, you know, Rio Tinto or BHP on this green energy podcast. So to monetize better, you want to align what people are talking about with advertising that really cuts through and resonates with them. Um, and also then, in terms of the content, you want to be able to target the audience more effectively with content that's relevant to them. So uh, if we're talking about down here in Melbourne, there's someone on the radio talking about something that's happening this weekend in St Kilda. Um, there's no point in targeting people in Perth with that. You want to be able to find those people in St Kilda that are most likely to get uh, that message about something local and, and work on that call to action. So really that helps with monetization. Uh, the API is really important because that turns the spoken word into structured data that can really be used uh, for marketing, broadcast and promotion to that audience that, as we were talking before, is really going to be interested in uh, these subjects. Absolutely. And it's so important, I think, so crucial uh, to, uh, to advertise to the correct demographic. Absolutely, yeah. And what would you say the services that you provide uh, that assist in this are? Yeah, look, we've built a, a really good platform that enables uh, people with content to be able to manage their content more effectively, uh, to be able to search and find, to be able to search down into what people said, who said it, when they said it, how they said it, you know, um, to be able to identify brands that have been spoken about, what brands were talked about, um, if there's customer mentions and, you know, like for your show, if you've got customers, what they want to hear when their brands were talked about, make that easy to do. Incredible workflow efficiencies as well, Holly, you know, uh, creating automatic summaries of what was spoken about, uh, providing automatic clips of what's good promotional material. This saves uh, huge amounts of time for uh, our clients and also making sure those clips are really engaging, you know, the right hashtags are going to marry up with the social platforms and the audience so that you've got hashtags that are relevant um, and try and work in with the ones that are trending the most. So helping content be discovered 
automating promotion into clips that can easily be uh, disseminated to target audience and again turning that unstructured audio data uh, into structured data that can be used easily by our clients. That's incredible. So it essentially allows these clients to sort of have eyes everywhere and see and hear exactly what people are saying about their business. Yeah, it's spot on. It really is that next wave of being able to get uh, deep understanding of uh, the spoken word and then to be able to not just understand it, to be used in the most effective way to link it up with people that want to listen to what's being uh, talked about. Definitely. And you have diverse experience with scaling up startups, business sales and marketing. In your opinion, what's the key criteria for a successful content strategy for any business? Look, I think you've got to um, add value. You know, you want to give away the best bits. You want to uh, really be authentic and honest in what you think and be yourself. Um, you know, the old saying, content is king, I guess, is still very much the case. Um, so you want to have great content, but you've got to be able to distribute it as well. So whilst content's king, distribution's kind of the whole kingdom. So you've got to have it out there. You've got to be able to do it regularly. Uh, you've got to build up an audience with this cadence of content production. Um, and that's where Sonnen comes in as well. You know, a lot, a lot of our clients do their clips and transcripts and the best bits of their content on a Sunday. Uh, we've got this mantra for our clients to give them their Sunday back. So you want to be able to create good content. You want to be able to get it out there uh, in the most effective and efficient way poss possible. Absolutely. And a lot of these, uh, this content is really time sensitive. It's got to be relevant. It's got to be put out there on time, as you mentioned. So it sounds like efficiency is key for you. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, you know, the relevance bit's really interesting, Holly, because you may have uh, years of archives and uh, something may come up today um, that you spoke about years ago uh, on, on your podcast or on your show. So to be able to marry up what's relevant today with something you talked about before, leverages that content library, leverages your archive, but still gives the audience something relevant that they're going to be interested in because it's topical. The efficiency in being able to get it, that's what we're all about. Absolutely. It sounds like a recipe for success there. So what's next for Sonat? Is there anything our audience can look forward to? Yeah, look, we've got a, a huge range of things in our pipeline. We're only really just discovering, uh, you know, what's possible and what our customers really want through this automation and workflow. But, uh, you know, being able to surface uh, clips from an archive, um, being able to bring it up. So you get into your office in the morning, go, here's 10 things that uh, is relevant from your library that your audience is going to be interested in. Or if you're on the audience side and you wanted to uh, follow, for example, your favourite TV show or football team to be able to wake up in the morning and have clips in your inbox or on your app. Here's the things you're interested in. Here's every time it was spoken about the world over. Uh, that's the kind of potential we're, uh, we're wanting to bring. Sounds like you've got a lot of uh, development ahead for you there. Yeah, there's a, a, a lot of late nights ahead for uh, software developers and engineers, that's for sure. <laughs> well, it sounds like a sacrifice that you'll have to make, but it's good to hear that you'll have those developments and hopefully some expansion in the coming years. Are you planning on expanding to other markets? Yeah, I mean, we're starting with, uh, you know, English language markets originally and, you know, across uh, North America, the United Kingdom and uh, all parts of Europe and uh, Asia Pacific. There's an enormous market, um, you know, and then getting into the other languages um, is going to be the next wave, but uh, there's a big enough uh, market to tackle just uh, across those countries that I mentioned. Well, no doubt the English speaking world is quite a big one already. So you've got your work cut out for you at the moment, it seems. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that is great to hear and we hope to see those developments and expansions on the horizon. But on that note, it is just about time for us to wrap up. I've got to say thanks so much for joining us today. It's been great to hear insights. Thanks for having me, Holly. Enjoy your weekend. You too. And it was a pleasure to have you on. Thanks for your time as well, viewers. Stay tuned with us for more live market updates. As we say here, stay apprised and invest wise with Calkine.